in this workshop, I've been teaching uh, rapid prototyping for mobile applications, and we are using Python for Series 60 to do coding and design of mobile applications which run on actual mobile phones so that the students can create applications based on their ideas, code them, put them to the phone, test them out, see how they work, go back, redesign it, recode it, and so go through an iterative process of development in getting a nice little application, even sometimes bigger applications, work on the phone. Um, so what I've been doing in this course, basically, I've been teaching for two days uh, Python for Series 16. We have gone through a series of exercises. We start with very easy stuff um, and then gradually go into more uh, complex stuff. Not too complex, but gradually we increase the level so the understanding of the students uh, from a didactic point of view can really uh, step by step be increased. And um, I have now seen that uh, after two days, the students have really emerged uh, quite strongly in understanding how to code with Python on the phone, uh, making their own applications, um, going to completely new directions, um, which I have not seen any application go so far. Um, and that's very nice. So we can really have creative ideas and, um, and implement them and make them work on the phone and get the real success feeling of taking the phone into your hand, pushing the buttons and things work. And this seems to be also very satisfying for the students. And so I think this method of rapid prototyping um, is a good approach. Uh, since you get very fast proof of concept of your idea, what you would like to um, um, realize, your artistic idea. Of this workshop has been basically to provide a practical introduction to Python for Series 60 and really on how to easily and quickly make a working application, mobile application, including user interface elements, Bluetooth networking, the use of the keyboard keys, also graphics and pictures, and audio, video, and also the use of the camera. I thought to just let you know what was our goal uh, for Friday, today, 3 p.m. Now we have 10 past 3. And I think the students have managed quite well, actually, to achieve this goal. And that's to produce a working prototype application that runs on a mobile phone based on the students' own ideas and the skills learned during this week. Because our main idea was to really learn the skills uh, to produce uh, and program such applications. And I told them that I want to see working applications, whether they are simple and small or complex, big. And I think we will soon see the demos and you can see there is quite a variety um, of applications which have come out. Basically, our idea is pretty simple. Um, it's um, taking pictures from your environment and uploading them to a um, page like this. And um, you have two choices, either find an eye or find a mouth. So I take a picture and then you get this menu box here saying name the picture so I name it okay and then I select I'll go back you, you just uh, type your username can you see it clearly yeah. yes okay my username and then you have the choice of either calling it the eye or mouth so basically um, it's a PHP script and that pulls the images from the database and it names it to be whether it's an eye or a mouth and it randomly picks images from the database and displays it on the web. Uh, yeah, it's a wonderful workshop actually. You learned a lot of information, especially about Python. Well, for me, it's a program, the programming language that I never had known about or dwelt into. Yeah. And it was quite surprising that like us non-programmers could actually program Program. Yeah, we could understand <laughs> it. Yeah, mm -hmm. here it's like two days and then we have a application. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'd like to be a bit skeptical of Monday and Tuesday. Mm. If we get anything working on Friday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think making uh, application for mobile phone for, for, for teaching or for learning solfa, so for musicians, so uh, recognition of chords and principles. Mm -hmm. You choose which 
which thing you want to practice. So you can practice, for instance, intervals of chords. Let's, let's practice intervals. Click on intervals. And the phone will play an interval and you have to decide which interval it is. So I think that was one of those. Oh, and the battery's low. <laughs> but it's correct. Okay. Okay. And then it says, no, I was wrong. It was a perfect fit. Mm -hmm. So after that, again, the, the new one comes, yeah? New one comes, and mm -hmm. then you try to choose again. Oh, it's wrong. And then, yeah, when you want to quit, you just go to the menu. Mm -hmm. It tells you what your score is. Okay. And then you can either choose another one or quit the application. But also, because it's such an easy application, it would be very handy for when you're sitting in the train or on the bus or whatever. You just put the headphone in and you can actually... Communication with... Uh, you can send something uh, from mobile phone to this device so that basically if you can manage to, to send any command, you can control anything, motor, camera, or anything. Mm -hmm. So in this project, I have a small tiny display. Yeah, what happens? And I'm going to send now. Yeah. Then the same position will. Okay. Then it, this one is on. Yeah. Then if you press once more, it's turn off. Okay. So in in this project, you can draw the pictures. I believe mobile technology will influence uh, our personal lives in the near future much more than we have ever seen before. And because simply I believe that because I, I see so big potential of, of um, applications, what we can have on the phone, how it can be integrated in our personal lives, how it can make a lot of things uh, more helpful, more easy, makes us save time, interrupts us maybe in, in a nice way. Um, we can have communications uh, with other people, with groups of people in, in a very new way, not based on the current communication system that we just call people or send SMS. No, we can have uh, whole new patterns of communication there. I also believe that mobile technology can uh, create uh, new social experiences for us, which enrich our everyday life on one hand, but also our free time activities. And I believe new types of applications will emerge, uh, which gives us such new types of experiences. Um, I think there is big potential there, and gradually those things will evolve. And I hope that within the frame of the Media Lab, will have a chance to take part in and shape this development because simply in, in, in a school like the Media Lab we have a lot of artistic people, they have high quality artistic ideas, they have high quality production skills in the field of new media. Now combining these skills together with the ability to let people program their own little applications, mobile applications, which has been actually quite a difficult task in the past, but now because we have Python for Series 60, thanks to Nokia, um, we can enable those people to create such applications based on their artistic ideas, and they can implement them themselves. They don't need engineers sitting right beside them, um, as it has been before. And um, now, I think this is, uh, is opening a new way, and, and I really hope uh, for the future that um, yeah, this will create a new path for us in the Media Lab here, um, that we can help to shape developments. Also on the international level, um, help to, to create knowledge in this area to uh, enrich the research community uh, around the world.